today let's take a look at um, the mock data generator uh, generator feature in the dbweaver enterprise edition so the one thing i would like to um, caution you is that if the mock data generator actually adds the data into the mock data into the table that you are trying to work with so it's better if you uh, make a copy of your table um, so that if you will be able to restore the table uh, data from the copy or you can actually create a new table um, with the same structure and then use the mock data feature so that the existing tables data doesn't get um, updated so this is a good feature um, it's not like 100 percent perfect according to the needs i would say um, but um, i think like to start with it it actually works so let's take a look at here uh, so i'm in the enterprise edition so I'm gonna. Uh, I've already made a copy of the camp activities uh, into this table, a like copy of camp activities, so that I will be able to restore the data back into this table. So go ahead and right click on it, and uh, here in the tools, you would see the generate mock data. So what I uh, liked about it is like you can actually select different options. So here, if it is like a provider contact can click on it and say this is a phone number and it actually gives you a different uh, phone numbers like random phone numbers that's generated the structure of how the phone numbers will be given like generated is actually given here um, for uh, systems people the reg just may be like a little easier to update if you need the phone numbers in different format but for business i would uh, unless like you are really like wanting to uh, have the phone numbers in a specific format i would just like leave it like that um, and uh, for email also like it generates like random email id and if there is like a numeric field so i've uh, selected a numeric uh, price random numeric price to be given for the cost field so you can give like 0 to 100 like any any values can be given here so i have selected like 0 to 100 and with the precision of 3 and a scale 2 then let's take a look at this boolean um, uh, indicator so for travel i've mentioned like a boolean random the one um, uh, it actually gives only like true or false value it does not uh, allow you to like select whether you want like yes or no indicator or zeros or ones you can select only like the values provider or are only like true or false um, it's it still works but if in case like you your code or like your data is not generated that manner then it um, then it's like a drawback according to me um, but once you have maybe if you create the table uh, with true or false and then you can create a view on top of this table to convert the true or false into the values how your application would be generating so that's an option then the string constant uh, again like this is one um, I, I would like to like see more features in this tool basically um, providing a list of uh, options whatever i would like to like select from for example if the string activity type can be um, provided as um, let's like a b c like any one of those options should be like picked up like randomly but here i can give only like one value um, so that's um and the text actually so it's um a random text so i've given like a template here and uh, the minimum length is like one and maximum length can be like uh, you can provide as much as you want i've just selected to be 20 and a lowercase or uppercase then in the activity provider name so you can actually like uh, pick pick a name and the name can be given with the surname or like without surname and the gender can be like uh, all gender or you can pick like only female names or male names has to be given mm -hmm. and then also notice this um, you you can like uh, provide this option uh, if you want to like test how your program is like behaving with null values and so this this particular option where you're saying like remove old data if you check this whatever data was there in the table gets deleted so that's why as mentioned like if you're having like protection data or like real test data in the table so i would not check this option um, but always like make sure you're making a copy of the table into like some other uh, place before you start um, exploring this option 
then the row count um, it's it's really like neat uh, you can like select uh, up to like thousand rows and uh, if you you can like re keep generating the mock data to the volume that you would want to like try it out so let's click on like start here and it says like yes you would like to like uh, delete the old data yes i would like to delete the old data so it's getting generated okay now we have created the test data uh, what i would actually prefer seeing uh, here is that um, finish or uh, add more data but it just like has a start button or like back and if i have to exit out of this window um, i can only like cancel it here so i'm going to go ahead and cancel it and now let's take a look at the data that got generated here so let me refresh the screen Okay, so as you see, like the camp activities, uh, the uh, length was given as 20 and it's some like random values and the activity type was given as um, K, uh, it's just like a default um, constant value. and this is like true or false uh, and uh, so this this particular column was like skipped in the mock data generator so let me like click on that one more time to just show that this this value was skipped so we mentioned like skip so that's why you don't see any values for that particular column and uh, in the activity provider so we gave like it as a name and uh, with the surname so the values that got generated is um, having like both first name and last name and you notice that the phone numbers are like actually like random but if you just like want a us number like just to have like plus one then you would actually change the reg reg guests um, and uh, business folks like you can actually like reach out to systems to get the reg uh, of what needs to be like pasted there um so yeah the pro provider email and the cost type and the cost so yeah that's that's all like i i have about the mock data feature i uh, really um the one concept i'd like is like you can increase the volume of the data here so if you want to do some kind of like performance testing with some basic default values this is an option to do um, it does not provide any complex structures though um, right now um, like the arrays or uh, structures or like uh, uh, array of structures those kind of values are like are not provided um, so that's uh, it's uh, it, that's the only um, additional drawback I can say about this option So let's take a look at some of the basic functionalities um, that's also available in the standard edition too but here i'm evaluating that in the enterprise edition so if you need to like browse the uh, in uh, content in any of the tables you can go ahead and click on um, like just double click on the table and the data uh, would actually pop up so one um, good feature that i liked is uh, the grouping option here so in the side panels you can see the first one is the calculation and the second one is grouping so if i have to like uh, i want to see like how many records are there with um, like grouped by the activity type so you just like do a drag and drop of the data and uh, depending on the volume of the data it actually uh, takes a little bit of time here i have only like uh, 80 rows so the data has actually populated uh, immediately so you you can see that uh, the number of values for classes like 15 and then there is six records with field so this this is a um, like I, I like this option because you, you should, most of the time you would like to like drill down the options to see uh, how how many records are there for a particular category and uh, you, you can add like multiple group by options too so here you can like give another group by option so if if you need like uh, this particular uh, query uh, later you can actually go to windows and uh, click show view and then uh, query manager click on query manager and uh, here you go if i just like click on it you can see that like select 
um, activity type travel and count star so that's that's what uh, this particular column has actually given you like count star from this table from uh, from the um, original table excel like star from copy of camp activities as the source and then it has grouped by the activity type and travel so this this uh, query you can actually like uh, copy and um, save it or share it with another business partner which if you would like to um, know like what kind of uh, records are you you are expecting to get so let me like click ok here and uh, as we have explored earlier you can actually put a quick chart of this data and if you want to like change the uh, columns uh, the x and y axis for this data you can actually click and right click uh, and uh, click on uh, settings then you can change the activity like now if instead of having like activity type i would like to like see based on travel the one thing is it doesn't give like multiple levels of uh, uh, data in the chart and you at a given time you can select and like only one of the value so for travel i would like to see the counts so the value got changed you, you see this like small up and down arrow that actually helps you to like sort the column just by clicking on it uh, it it's going to like sort it in place um, so i would actually um, uh, you can you can try this option but if it, the table is like very big it's going to like take a while to do it for small tables it it could be done like very quickly and let's take a look at the filter options here this funnel that you see right next to all the column names you can click on that and it's when you click on that all the unique values that is in that particular column gets pulled up again like depending on the volume of your data it's going to take a while for it to like show all the values um, and I, I hope like uh, you will not use that option for uh, primary key uh, columns because it's going to be unique and it could take a while for all the values to come in here so I'm going to like select two values here um, and then say like apply filter criteria and see only like uh, I selected only fun and food and those are the values that's actually shown here now if you click on this um, section you can see the SQL that's actually written so I have selected uh, all the columns from this particular table where the activity type is in food or fun order by the camp activities so what I have observed in the um, standard edition is that uh, when you select the values it does not automatically um, put this quotation marks like the uh, quotes and i had to like manually do it so in enterprise edition i'm seeing that um, quotes are coming up like automatically which is which is good um, it just saves you another click um, so you can again like copy you can copy this and then uh, save it uh, for like com uh, coming back and running the query again and we can also like that another way so let's go ahead and like clear the filter so remove all filtering and ordering so there's eraser button here and um, i'm going to like do custom filters so if we expand this column here so you you can select whatever columns like you want so if you if you want to like start fresh just go ahead and click on the show none and select only the columns that you are like looking for so and i'm going to like um, order by so based on so this is like order by and here is the criteria so you can say like uh, this is descending order and if you do like ascending order so this order by camp activities ascending and then by activity type ascend descending or like activity type ascending then let me just take a quick look at the values here okay so again like i would like to see a drop down here that's listing like all the unique columns whatever is present in that particular um particular field but um, now um, so this can be handy for uh, querying the uh, 
primary keys so if you have the primary key that you want to like query instead of selecting the filter like the funnel um, instead of selecting the funnel from this view I would actually go and like type it in here so let's go ahead and like type it as like fun equal to fun and I'm gonna like run this query right now and, and again like this order of this values can be like changed so if you want this to be moved above you can like change it so those are those are like really cool uh, the um, cool options is what like I feel um, you can also write your own custom SQL but uh, let's just like go ahead and give OK here so you see all the um, rows that had like fun as the value in the activity type that is selected and only the columns that we have selected is shown here and now again like you can click on this um, option but um, the drawback I'm seeing here is like it does not pick the column names that you have given so that's where I think like the query manager comes in handy um, but um, your where condition and order by is actually captured though in this option so these are um, some of the like um, basic functionalities uh, that dbweaver provides and so i have copied that uh, sql so i've copied the sql that i have got here and if you need to run the sql editor so you just like click on sql editor and say like new sql editor and you can actually paste that value and just click so you will yeah you'll get all the data based on this um, query that you have written so the uh, good thing like you can save this sql right now so you see that it's um, it's saved here so that's it um I, I have reviewed uh, some of the key features in uh, DB where I, I like this tool because of the interface. Uh, I have tried a couple of other tools uh, like uh, SQL Workbench. Uh, I was um, I liked the DB were like much better than any other SQL editors. Uh, and one cool thing is like I can like connect to any of my AWS data stores like to Athena, Presto or Redshift Spectrum tables and um, they say that there is like this uh, enterprise edition actually connects to DynamoDB also. I haven't explored that option yet. Once I explore the DynamoDB option, I'll put up a different video for that. Um, thank you. If you have any questions, please uh, send an email to contact at gentrylearning.com uh, and I would be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.